ating uh, paboritong programa, of course, ang Good Morning Kuya. At para po sa ating usapang pangkalusugan, pag-uusapan po natin ang mouth and throat infections. Very common yan ngayon, lalo ta uh, medyo from uh, malamig na season ay nagiging mainit. Kasama po natin ngayong umaga, ang isa pong dentist. Siya po ang program training director and consultant po. Yan. Postgraduate course po siya in hospital dentistry at uh, dental care metropolitan medical center dyan po sa Manila. Siya po ay private practitioner ng Valderrama Dental Office and Dental Suites, mga kasambahay. Eto na po siya, walang iba, si Dr. Lucia Sarmiento Valderrama. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. And welcome sa Good Morning, Kuya. Good morning. Did you have your breakfast already? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. <laughs> Ayan, pag-uusapan natin po ang infection sa mm -hmm. lalamunan. Pero unayin na natin yung, uh, kasi marami silang sinasabi na uh, nakakatulong dun sa infection, no, doctor? So we wanted to know, already, ngayon pa lang, kung ang oral antiseptic ba ay nakakatulong sa, sa problema sa lalamunan. Yes, kasi meron tong mga elements na makaka-wash away yung tinatawag nila, or the simplest way I can put it is, mm -hmm. it it basically contains mga antiseptics or yung lumalaban dito sa mga bacteria na umiikot sa bibig natin. Okay, so pagpasok pa lang nila para sila mga kawal. Yes. Taga, ano na sila? Yes. Ganyan. Aside po sa pagiging kawal at bantay ng ating mga lalamunan, meron pa rin po ba silang mga benefits na maaaring magawa sa atin ng mga kalusugan? Yes, uh, it also prevents the traversing of uh, other microorganisms that will contribute, for example, to the formation of mga tooth decay, mm -hmm. for gum problems. Mm -hmm. So, at least it minimizes, if it not, it inhibits the growth of the other living microorganisms. Okay, siguro maganda, mas uh, klaruhin natin, doctor, yung difference po ng oral antiseptic mm -hmm. against mouthwash. Be ano po ba yung difference <coughs> ng dalawa? Basically, the mouthwash and the oral antiseptic is one and the same. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the the compound or the element or the amount of antiseptic in every canister or bottle that you see. Pero you do, you use it the same way, you gargle. Yes. You gargle it after you brush your teeth? Uh, there's a rule there, it's brush, floss, and rinse. And the last thing, it's BRF. Brush your teeth, rinse, uh, brush, floss, and then rinse. Akala ko floss muna, brush muna pala, dok, di ba? Tapos... Well, Brush, yes, sir. floss, and rinse. Okay. So, yan po. At uh, available na ba sa market, doctor, ang, uh, ang antiseptics? Yes. It's basically uh, more, most of the drug stores mm -hmm. and even the um, uh, health, health buff centers, yes, they have no. this. Mm -hmm. What's the difference if we'll go to the market? No? Kasi ang alam lang namin, mga mouthwash, magaganda ang kulay nila, mga mm. blue, green, yes. very nice to the eyes. Ano pong itsura naman ng mga oral antiseptics, doctor? Well, the other products, they put color so it looks attractive to the yeah. consumer. Mm -mm. What is important is when you buy an antiseptic, it's the the content. So what do you need to look at the content? May kalagay ba yan, doctor, dun sa likod ng lalagyan ng, ng mga... Well, yeah. Some, they put, uh, to be attractive, they put the, an antiseptic mouthwash. Everything ah. is... An, ev I mean, most of the rinses in the oral cavity have antiseptics. The difference is... Do they have alcohol? Some don't have alcohol. You see, the alcohol in antiseptic, it causes a stinging effect. Mm -hmm. The stinging effect may cause some dryness. Mm -hmm. And if you have a wound or you underwent surgical intervention, mm -hmm. this will prolong the healing process. Oh, tsaka minsan sobrang tapang nung, nung, nung ano eh. Yeah, nung, that's why ano, it's always question. best to get an antiseptic without an alcohol. Content. Okay, so dapat lesson din pala. Yes. Pero ngayon, meron din silang, meron din kasi sa market na providone, iodine, nakakakita na ako niyan eh. Yes. Ano naman po yan, doctor? And is it also good for our for our oral, in, ano, mouth infection? Yes, the major component of providone iodine basically is the iodine there. Mm -hmm. It helps uh, counteract this thriving microorganism, especially yung tinatawag nilang staphylococci yes. and streptococci. Yan ang dalawang most common sa mouth. Mm -hmm. And it helps in the... Uh, it inhibits the growth of this living microorganism sa oral cavity mm -hmm. and also helps in preventing throat infections. Okay. So, alam din natin, why do we have to choose yung pong uh, providone, iodine, ayan, ag over the other antiseptic products that's available right now in the market? Yes. Uh, providone iodine uh, basically does not have alcohol. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't have alcohol, 
it hastens the healing process and allows the patient to return to full function. Mm. So if it heals much faster, then you can go back to work. Correct. Hindi ka na kailangan umabsent, doctor. Yes. Okay. At uh, mga kasama... Kailangan siya stinging effect. Oo. Aside naman, di ba, sa mga oral infections, we wanted to know also kung ano pa po yung ibang mga common diseases na pwede rin matulungan nitong uh, providone iodine yeah, there's with 1% oral antiseptic. All right. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm -mm. Our mouth doesn't only... Now, some people have or undergo oral surgical procedures. Mm -hmm. These oral surgical procedures are removal of wisdom teeth or mm -hmm. may mga soft tissue tumors. Mm -hmm. Madami kasi yung lesions sa mouth. Yeah. Now, if you, if you notice, yung povidon, when you rinse it, the mm -hmm. ID, no? Mm -hmm. It leaves remnants or sediments, yung fibers, na parang they attach themselves to the walls of the gums. Uh -oh. And you think it is a dirt, or, but it's not really debris. It helps, it serves as a film. So if there is a suture line, kung saan nag, nagko-close yung wound, mm -hmm. it creates a film so it prevents bacteria from entering into that wound. It, that film will protect it from... Parang barrier. Parang barrier, yes, no? it is a barrier. Can it also be the same naman sa mga tooth decays, di ba? Yes, it, if it serves as a diba? barrier, then it protects mm -hmm. you from the thriving <coughs> microorganisms. Yes, yeah, kasi di ba, minsan may butas na yung mga ngipin natin. Pag medyo, mm -hmm. ano na siya, medyo, medyo masakit na siya, pwede rin ma ma avoid yon, ma prevent. Yes. yes. All righty. Okay. At uh, is it okay to use it even without uh, throat infection? Kasi baka gusto mo naman oral hygiene lang or gusto mo siguradong sarado yung mga sugat sa bibig mo. Can you still use it every day? Yes. Okay. But in this case, for povidone iodine or in any type of mouthwash, mm -hmm. I would highly advise the use of it for two weeks only. Two weeks. So only. it doesn't alter the flora, yung environment of the mouth, mm -hmm. and then. The following next two weeks, you can use a different kind of antiseptic. Example, oh. yeah, the stabilized chlorine dioxide. Uh -uh. And then you can go back to Povidone IV. Oh, ganun so, po. I don't recommend using anti uh, oral antiseptic, I mean, uh, mouthwash with alcohol content. Kasi yes, nga, preferably. Mm -hmm. how, how many times uh, should you use Providone iodine? I would highly advise the use of it like uh, 20 ml. That's about... Um, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Or four uh, teaspoons. teaspoons yes. Yeah. That's equivalent to about 20, 20, yes, 20 ml. Do you put it in water? Kasi di ba yung ibang mga mouthwash eh, sinasama oh, nila sa tubig. Yeah, hindi masyadong malang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good question. If there is a wound inside your mouth, mm -hmm. I would suggest that you use the solution pure. Mm -hmm. I will encourage you to use it pure. Now, if it is a daily rinse, then you can mix it with 50% water and 50% of the solution. Ah, 50-50. Can you, I'm sorry, can you accident, oh, wag naman, pero if you accidentally swallowed it, the povidone iodine, although medyo yung aftertaste kasi yun eh, Yes. Okay lang na malunok, although hindi naman talaga dapat nulunok talaga yung mga mouthwash. Doctor, last na lang, no, bago tayo humingi ng uh, final message kay doktora. Mm -hmm. Yung pong way, kasi meron, di ba, throat ang iniisip mo. So, di ba, usually yung mouth mas sabibig lang, ginagargal mo. Advisable po ba na itatas mo yung leg mo para parang pumunta hanggang throat mo yung... Yes. Uh, pero hindi mo siya mas fit. Yes. So, that's a better way of doing that. Yes. And if when you rinse with it, uh -uh. I would encourage you also to uh, let it stay for 20 to 30 seconds. Kasi some people, when they rinse their mouth, Sandalun and then... Lang. Mga two seconds lang, wala na. Oh, so, oh. nawawala yung efficacy. Or, yeah, efficacy of the said component. That's diba? true. Alright, okay mga kasamba, hinga na natin ng uh, advice si, uh, si Dr. Lucia Sarmiento Valderrama para po naman may share natin sa ating uh, viewing publics kung paano nga ba natin mamimaintain ang very good oral health. Yeah, to maintain a very good oral hygiene regimen, it's best that you use the appropriate toothbrush for you mm. as uh, based on the consult with your dentist. And then you basically floss mm -hmm. as, well, at least twice a day. Mm -hmm. And then you rinse properly, like uh, 20 <laughs> ml. properly? You know, when you say properly, it's <laughs> like... Yung mga bata, kasi parang ano na lang eh, mm. para... Uh -oh. yeah. So 20 ml of water dapat. 20 ml of the solution. Of the solution. Pure, Pure. If you have a wound, if you don't, if it's just a daily rinse, 50% mm -hmm. water and 50% of the solution. Okay. Allow it to stay for 20 to 30 seconds before rinsing it off. All right. So and for, then don't eat. And then don't eat for 20 anymore. minutes at least. <laughs> at least. Niyong pagkatutbrush palang kain na ulit.
Yes. Okay. Ayan po mga kasabay. Salamat po na marami. Thank you for being here yes. this early morning. Thank you Friday. very much. Salamat po yes. for being with us. Once again, Dr. Lucia Sarmiento Valderrama, ang ating dentist para sa usapang pangkalusugan.